going on guys? Spion here again, Goosebumps number one Aussie fan bringing you another video. So, uh, okay. Now, I've been meaning to make a video on this for a while because I see people arguing over the fact all the time on different Goosebumps videos, even if it's got nothing to do with Slappy, I still find comments arguing over which dummy from either the TV show or the movie was a better representation of Slappy from the book. Now, it's so silly to argue over this, you know what I mean? I mean, they were both great, alright? They were both creepy and scary and I guess good representations, but if... Honestly, I'll give you my opinion on this, okay? What I think, because, I mean, straight off the bat, it doesn't take a Dr. Brewer scientist to see. I mean, if you've got a pair of eyes, you can see that the movie Slappy definitely has more of a likeness to the book cover. Alright? Now, the movie Slappy, to me, is definitely the better representation, okay? But, I will admit, the TV show Slappy, I liked the voice a lot better. That was your dad? Well, what a relief. I thought the cat got stuck in the dishwasher. <laughs> it was more creepier, darker, sinister. I mean, the movie one was still great. I mean, they had to use Jack Black's voice because he, you know, Slappy is the alter ego of Stein in the movie, so they had to use his voice to sort of blend that in, you know? As long as we get rid of Stein! Stein! <laughs> But if we're going based on, you know, which voice I think is better, I would say that the TV show Slappy was a better voice. But, personality, look, you know, the likeness of Slappy from the book to movie to TV show, the movie Slappy was clearly the better representation overall. I mean, Guys, when they make a movie based on a book, you want the character to look like the book, right? You want it to look like the person that it's trying to represent. Now, for instance, that's like having a Harry Potter movie, right? You know, Daniel Radcliffe as Harry, Rupert Grint as Ron. That's like having Rupert Grint play Harry, you know? It just, you know, it wouldn't be as good, you know? You want it to look like the person, but also be able to act you know, and do the job really well. And I mean, the movie Slappy did look a lot more like the book representation. He had the brown hair, the brown eyebrows, he even had the grey suit, not black, because Slappy actually has a grey suit. And he even had the brown shoes, because it says Slappy has brown shoes. Alright, the TV show Slappy had orange hair like what Mr. Wood would have looked like, like I said in one of my old videos, the TV show Slappy looks like what Mr. Wood may have looked like, but with Slappy's outfit. But he's got, yeah, as I was saying, orange hair, he's got green eyes, he's got a black formal suit, and black shoes. Now, there's just, his whole look isn't really right. I mean, yeah, he's got the red bow tie, he does have a formal suit, but it's like the wrong colour. But I mean, i got to admit, the voice of the TV show Slappy was definitely what I would picture Slappy's voice to be more like, you know, from reading the book to watching the TV episode, I would imagine Slappy's voice being more like that. But, guys, for an overall representation of Slappy based on looks, personality, you know, the whole package deal, I think the movie one definitely wins, okay? I mean, you just have to look at him to see that, okay? He does look a lot more like the book, okay? But, both versions of Slappy, the TV show version and the movie version, the eye colour is wrong on both. Slappy, if you guys, you know, have read the book, Slappy has blue eyes. It says he has blue eyes. Now, they're green on the cover of the first Night of Living Dummy, I think to give off the effect that they're like glowing, you know, with the green misty sort of around him, but if you look at all the other book covers, not the reissue ones, guys. The other books, like Slappy's Nightmare, and I Love Me 2, 3, you can see, if you look closely, he actually has blue eyes. So Tim Jacobus actually must have corrected that, you know, in the later books, realizing, oh yeah, Slappy's got blue eyes. It's kind of like when they did the Say Cheese and Die book cover, 
there was nothing in the book about, you know, the family turning into skeletons, you know, around, you know, a picnic area or whatnot. R.L. Stein added that in quickly, you know, to match in with the book cover because he liked it so much, you know? A little bit of goosebump trivia, guys. But, uh, yeah, getting off topic. The movie Slappy and the TV show Slappy, okay? I'm giving you my honest opinion from what I see and what I hear and, you know, personality, everything. The whole package deal. Movie Slappy is the better representation of the book. But the TV show Slappy is still very nostalgic and had a great voice, okay? If we could somehow use the TV show Slappy's voice with the movie Slappy, if you, put, if you were to somehow morph them together, it would be like the perfect slappy. You and I are one now. Inseparable. You are my slave. And changes eye color to blue, of course, as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, that's just my thought on this. Because I see comments, arguments going on about this all the time. You know what I mean? And it's like, I just want to give you my opinion on it. Of what I, you know, of what I see, you know. And the movie one is definitely the better one, okay? It, it is. The TV show one is still great though, nostalgic, and he did look, okay, he looked creepier. He did look creepier, but guys, he didn't look like Slappy from the book. He didn't look like him, but he did look creepier. I mean, if I looked at those two dummies and I had to decide which one looked creepier, I would say the TV show one does look creepier, okay? And his voice is fantastic, but if I had to go based on which one looks more like the book cut, like what he's meant to look like, how he's described in the book, I would say the movie one. You know, you're caught between the two, you know, but they're both good in different ways. That's just my thought on it, okay? Because, you know, I'm not siding with anyone. I'm saying they're both great, but better representation. Movie, TV show still very creepy though, okay? It does look creepier, but not he doesn't look as good as the movie one, obviously. He doesn't have this, the representation of the book. But the voice, yes. Definitely the voice, okay? It's exactly how I would imagine Slappy to sound like, okay? But yeah, guys, that's basically just my thought on this. I had to make a video because I see so many people arguing about this, alright? And I just wanted to just give you my thought, my opinion, my input on this, okay? Alright, I love both dummies, but that's just... That's how it is, you know what I mean? Like, the simple fact... That's just how it is. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you again soon.